So today is Yom Kippur, and for the Jewish faith, it's a day of um, just really self-reflection and confession of sins. And you know, Jesus celebrated this holiday, you guys. And so even if you are a Christian and you're not Jewish, it's there's something we can learn from it. So um, my husband and I are participating today, and we were talking to the kids about it. And I was just really recognizing that they're internalizing a lot of their bad choices. And so we had a big, long um, activity today where we talked about sin and how they are good people. They just made a bad choice. And I think as adults, we even struggle with that. So, so we've been talking about the fact that we make bad choices, but that doesn't make us a bad girl. Uh, right, guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what we did is we made a list of all the things or bad choices that we could think of. This is Ada's. This is Allie's. This is Hazel's. So here's what I want to show you. When you tell Jesus about those things, do you know what he does? He sends it far over that as way and he sends you far over that way. Yeah. It separates you as far away as you could possibly get. Love. So what happens when we confess these bad choices, when we say I'm sorry, what happens to him? Jesus forgives us. And what happens when you forgive? Does he keep thinking about it and talking about it all the time? No. It's gone. Yeah, he Clean sends it far and far away. Let, far let it up. Let it on fire. Start with just a corner. God keeping track of all those sins? Are they gone? Yeah. Watch it. There it goes. Those are all Hazel's bad choices. All the burn sins. Mm -hmm. Hazel's burn sins. Now is God going to tomorrow be like, hey, by the way, you did that thing and I didn't like it. Is he going to say that? No. no.